Hello and welcome to Retro Cars Reborn. I'm Lee, of course. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at spacing your calipers out so that in the previous videos about fitting those bigger vented discs, you'll actually be able to get the calipers over them now. So you'll be going from a caliper that looks like this to one that looks like this. So yeah, this is your spaced out caliper. So let's get on with the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously remove your caliper. And I'll put a link up to the top of the video that I actually removed these in, in case you don't know how to remove it. And I'm pretty sure most people watching this channel know how to take these out. So what do I mean by spacing the calipers out? So fitting those vented discs that I have done. They do not fit through this section here. They're only meant for a single solid disc. Now the 2.8 came with bigger widened calipers. But they're very scarce on the ground and you can hardly find any. And they're very expensive if you can. So you can literally, a company has made a kit so that you can take your normal single solid disc caliper and change it up so that you can space it out to fit your vented discs. So let's have a look at the kit. So here's everything that you receive in the kit you get your spacer for the bottom of the caliper that sits in between there. You get your spacer for the top of the caliper which sits in the top and it's also got in it the hole to pass the fluid from one side to the other it also comes with two seals one of which fits in there and the other goes in the caliper now my calipers have been rebuilt, I rebuilt them two years ago. So I've still got a brand new square cut seal, which is what goes in the caliper. Now, I left that in and only used this round, this round one in this side, and they seem to hold fluid perfectly. It's a shame the kit comes with these round ones and not this square cut seal, which ideally would go in there but it works so I can't really complain about that at all so you get your two spacers you get longer bolts because obviously they're going to need to be longer to reach the new sides so you get four of them because they're both different outer bolt and an inner bolt you also get two nice thick hefty washers they are for spacing the caliper away from the strut so it centralizes it and fits around the disc properly and you also get longer brake pad pins And just see how much longer they are to reach the other side so you get everything to fit the same company who make this kit also at an extra cost will supply you with longer mounting bolts but I use the originals because there's still quite a lot of thread goes through and into the strut so I didn't see I didn't see the reason why I'd want to buy the extra long ones but uh, if I do run into any problems 
I will obviously do an updated video on if I run into any problems and if you really need to buy those, but I didn't buy them. So there's the kit, and with that, we shall start to fit it. Trust me when I say, taking this caliper to pieces is a lot easier than you think it's going to be. Now the first thing I did is remove the bleed nipple. which is obviously going to make a bit of a mess as you can see but we've got cardboard down so taking these bolts out is going to be easier than you think so you've got a 14 and a 16 to take out I'm going to cheat and use the gun Now you just want to put them in a safe place, label them, you put them in a, put them in a blue bag and label them saying caliper bolts or something like that. You use them for a, a rebuild in the future or if you want to go back to solid discs so you've got them in a nice safe place. So now they should simply just pull apart. So now would be a real, real good time to do the seal kit and the new pistons, but I did them two years ago and they're still looking nice and fresh now. But there's that square cut seal that I was telling you about earlier. So because mine's still decent, I'm going to leave that in. I'm just going to give them a quick clean up and we'll be right back. So that's our two halves cleaned up. All I've done is cleaned the debris from outside. Give them a quick wire brush to get rid of as much of the uh, brake dust as possible. And also just get these wiped down because they're the surfaces you want to keep as clean as possible. So it's now a real nice simple task of literally just bolting them back together. So this is the back half where your bolts are going to go through. Now I recommend always a little dab a thread lock on every single one of them because then you definitely know they're staying in tight, they're not coming out and again it's brakes, safety, you don't want them coming loose. So how I did the other one is I got the side with the seal in face down so basically as you would put it back together this is your fit and forget so that you just want to make sure that they are the right way around look as they can be fitted the wrong way around See when that's crushed together, that square face seal underneath is going to be compressed into it. The same with this. It'll get compressed into it. You can put one side in it, you can have it completely all the way around it. Either way, as long as it's there, it'll work perfectly fine. So you've got it set up like that. How I did the other one is, I made sure that the piece with the seal in has got the top two bolts in, because that's the side that matters the most. Just leave that block in the bottom. Because this is the side that's got the seal.
And then you can drop your other two bolts in. Should look like this from the other side. It can be a little bit difficult to get it to line up, but it eventually does. that is pretty much it one spaced out caliper ready for the event of discs your four bolts do have a torque setting and I'll put that up on the screen so once that's torqued up, it'll be ready to go back on the car. So this is your discs, obviously. The nice spaced caliper. To fit them. In the video after this one, I'll show you how to make some nice new brake pipes. That's the simplest brake pipe you'll ever make in your life. But yeah, it's a good little upgrade. Thanks for watching. I've been Lee. This has been Retro Card Reborn. You've now got a caliper to go with those vented discs. I'm pretty sure you know how it goes back on. And uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, comment, leave a like, share the video. And I shall see you in the next one.